guys, my name is Ryan Williams and I want to welcome you back to this week's play video brought to you by the Dakota Medical Foundation and TNT Kids Fitness and Gymnastics. This week's play video is going to focus on the object control skill of catching. The past few videos we have focused on the throw. This next video we will focus on the catch. Students need to learn to throw before they can catch. If a student doesn't know how to throw to themselves or a partner, the catch is nearly impossible. Catching is a very important fundamental skill that is used in numerous games and sports. Catching also improves eye tracking and body awareness. And like I said in the intro video, these skills directly transfer back to the classroom. In this video, I will share with you what this looks like and some fun activities to do inside the classroom or outside on the playground. When teaching students how to catch, they should always keep their eyes on the ball. They will adjust their hand positions underneath the object they are trying to catch. Move your body into the path of the object. Pull the object to their body. Once students are getting better at their underarm throw or the overarm throw, now it's time to teach them how to catch. So a great thing to use is a scarf. They're colorful kids really enjoy them. If you don't have the option to buy scarves, you can use grocery bags, you can use paper towels. All you want is something that's going to float to the ground so it's not so fast like a bean bag or a ball. So beginning to teach catching, what we do is we just teach them to throw it up in front of them about eye level and catch with both hands. Once they begin to get that, you can have them throw it up and try to catch it with one hand. Like I said, you wanna use both hands, teach them to throw and catch with the right hand, teach them to throw and catch with the left hand. Once that gets, um, once students learn to, to do that on their own, you can add some fun activities in between there, especially with scarves, because it takes a while to, to come down. You can have them throw it and try to clap and catch it. See how many times they can clap and still catch it. Move those. You can see if they can throw it up and catch it on a body part. That way it's getting them to move their body and also be aware of where their body is in relation to a scarf. Um, you can try to catch or throw it, excuse me, throw it and turn. Again, just a different variation, but it keeps kids engaged through the throwing and catching process. Once the scarf becomes too easy for students to catch, you can use a bean bag that's gonna come a lot faster as opposed to the scarf. Again, with the bean bag, uh, you can use a ball here, something small enough to be able to throw and catch it. Um, again, when you throw it, you wanna keep it about eye level. You want the students to work on tracking it with their eyes. As I catch it, I have both hands together. They're not apart. If I tried to catch it with my hands apart, it might fall through. So again, working on two hands. Once that becomes easy, working on one hand. Make sure they use the other hand as well. When it's too easy to catch with their hands, you can use an object to try to catch it with. Here I, I'll use a cone. You can use a um, ice cream pail or something similar to that. And that's just gonna teach them to maneuver an object to still try to catch the object that they're throwing. So it looks something like this. Again, I'm trying to catch everything at my, at my waist. You can teach them to catch up high, above their head. You can teach them to catch really low. Um, there's many different variations of catching. The object, if it's below your waist, you wanna have your pinkies together. If it's above, you wanna have your thumbs together. You never wanna reach out and grab it. You wanna let it come to you. So those are some fun activities. Again, you can do these inside or outside. When you're inside, I always tell the kids if it hits the ceiling, anything you're using, they are sitting out. That keeps them to be mindful of how they're throwing it instead of whipping it as high as they can. So I hope you enjoy those activities and good luck. I hope this video has provided you with some tools that you can take back to your classroom. Thanks for watching.